Yo, what's up, guys, and welcome back here to another quick tutorial. Uh, today, we're going to be looking at how you guys can install replay mod. Uh, I know it's a very popular thing, so we can go ahead and uh, jump straight into the tutorial because I don't like keeping you guys waiting. So, down in the description, you're going to be finding links to all of these things. It's going to be very simple. All we're obviously going to need is replay mod itself. We're going to need fabric and fabric API. Now, that's all you'll need to get this running. If you guys want to use sodium, you can as well. Um, you can go ahead and click this version if it's something that you need for your other servers or other mods and stuff you want to run but for the base game all you guys want to do is come in here download it for minecraft 1.19 or whatever version you guys see here just go ahead and click this big download button open this up and it should start downloading straight away as well there we go uh, once this is finished doing, uh, mine's doing this really long because I'm updating something at the same time. But once this is finished, it's going to pop up saying, do you want to keep? It might be harmful for your computer. Just see, click yes. Um, it's not going to do any problem at all. all right, next up, you want to go ahead and install the fabric installation itself. Uh, so just come to this page. I'll leave this in the description as well. Or you can just click this download page and it'll bring you here. Just go ahead and hit that download for Windows. If you're a Mac, just download the jar version. It's not going to be any different, but just go ahead and hit that Windows one if you're on that and lastly go ahead and download the fabric api uh, just double check what version you're on here just make sure everything is matching okay that's the biggest thing i get in the last two videos i've done most people commented saying it doesn't work uh it's because their versions are incompatible so just make sure you're running like the same version across everything and it'll all be fine so go ahead and just click that download file just here on the right hand side as well so once you've done that you want to go ahead and open up your documents and navigate to your downloads folder or wherever you save them to they should should go here by default so as you guys can see here we have our fabric api we have our replay mod and we have the fabric installer so what you want to go ahead and do is double click on the fabric installer the .exe file it's going to go ahead and load up just give it a second or two once it pops up just go ahead and make this version 1.19 or whatever version there is at the time just go ahead and hit install uh, it should just take like two seconds and it should be all done if you have your minecraft launcher open just go ahead and close it uh, we can reopen it in a second right now you guys want to go down to your search bar type percent app data percent and then go ahead and hit enter perfect it should open up your app data roaming file just go ahead and click on the dot minecraft scroll down until we have our mods and then in here you can go ahead and drag the replay mod and the fabric api and just drag and drop them into there and that's pretty much it we can go ahead and close out these we can open our minecraft launcher and once it's done you should see down in the bottom right hand corner i mean the bottom corner just here the fabric loader 1.19 or again whatever version you're running i would also recommend coming over to installations coming over to this side here uh clicking your three dots and and edit and then go down to more option and increase this amount here it will probably be, i think it defaults at two uh so this is how much ram you have to allocate to the thing so if you have eight gigs ram maybe put in four here it should be fine but uh this will just allow everything to run a lot smoother give you higher frames while you're recording and it'll help like render it out a little bit quicker as well so go ahead and do that so i have 32 gigs on my computer so 16 is not too much of an issue for me um but yeah i'd recommend trying to go in at least four if you can if not it'll be fine so once you're done there just go ahead and click save come back over to your play section and we can just hit play and once we guys are in it'll take a little bit to load up on your first run through but don't be too worried about that um you guys can see here we have our replay viewer all loaded up and it loads up with all of your replay mods if you have done that before uh just for a quick little uh showcase guys i'll load into a world and so as you guys can see here this is from our tutorial that we did uh, a couple of days ago you guys can go ahead and hit escape and just click start recording on here uh, you guys can build what you want to or remove what you need anything like that um, yeah it's pretty it's pretty simple to do and then from here once you've finished like your little building you can go ahead and click stop recording save and exit to title once that's done i recommend waiting for that to finish like saving then just go ahead and click done we come to our replay viewer and we should see it down in the bottom section if you guys want to go ahead and make your little uh video here so for the meantime you guys will just be in camera mode here and you're wondering how do i press all the buttons go ahead and hit press t and then your cursor should come up up here this is the speed that the replay will play so this video is 11 seconds if i have it here down to 0.5 it's going to take 22 seconds etc as fast or slow as you want 
uh, down here as well is where you can actually add in our keyframes. So this is the time on the, so this is the position of the camera here and this is the time on the actual video itself. So from here we can hit play, we can move our camera around a little bit just here. Scoot forward to about 10 seconds and tap it again, just like so. Uh, once we're happy with that, we can go ahead and we can watch it if we want to. Just drag your little cursor all the way back to start and press play. As you guys can see, we're in our thing. We're watching ourselves place all the blocks. Everything is good. We're pretty happy with that little speed build. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is hit our render camera path. Just leave everything default if it's not, just change it to my settings here. The output file is wherever you guys wanna save it. So if you wanna find somewhere you wanna go ahead and save it, just go ahead and do that. Once you're happy with that, you can go ahead and press okay. Pretty much we can just cruise down here. Uh, this here is the only thing you guys will need. I'll leave this in the description as well. Um, this file just here here so that would be just down in the description just go ahead and copy and paste it into your command line settings so some of you will need to install this ffmpeg as well most of you will still have it on your computer already um, i'll go ahead and leave this in the description as well if you guys need to source that out but it's again it's pretty simple to do so i'll leave that down in the description if you do need it once you're happy with that all you guys have to do is just go ahead and press that render button it will render out and everything will be sweet so yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Hopefully you did enjoy this one. If you do uh, have any questions, I'll just go ahead and leave them down in the comments before I'll definitely get back to you and try and help you out the best that I can. Uh, if not, I'll uh, just go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Later.